If you want to schedule your posts from Canva out to your social profiles, or you're just not sure how to download your graphics and get them out of Canva so that you can share them everywhere else, keep watching. If you're wanting to use Canva to schedule your posts or you're wanting to download your Canva graphics so that you can upload them directly to your social media platforms. I'm just going to show you very quickly how you can do both of those things, just in case you're not sure. So the first way is to uh, create your graphics. So I've got all of my graphics here in the lead up to uh, the book launches that we're doing. And so uh, what I'm going to do is I've created my graphics. Let's assume you've created yours. What you're going to do is you're going to go up to the top button here where it says share. So what you can do is you can either download. So if I click on download, I can choose which pages. I can uh, click that there, which deselects them all. So I can now choose page one, uh, three and six if I want to, or I can select all pages and download all of them. Click done if I want to select all of them. You can choose if you're going to have a transparent background, but if you've got images that have a full image in, there's no point in doing that. A transparent background is perfect if you've, um, let's say you've removed the background on this so it doesn't have any background there and it's just white and you want to be able to put that over the top of a coloured background in another program, for example, That's or a logo. Say you've created a logo, you want to export it as a PNG so that it has no background to it with a transparent background. So that's a, a good way to do your logos. But for now, because I've got images that I haven't got anything transparent on it, I'm not going to select that. I don't need to compress the file because I want all of my images to be as high quality as possible. So let's assume that I'm going to download all of these. So I can now click download and that's going to, I'm not going to do it because I've just done that. Uh, that's going to download them all to my downloads folder or wherever it is that you choose to download it. The other option is to go back to share and you'll see that there are some examples along here. Uh, so if you're wanting to share a link, for example, say I wanted to share this with uh, one of my members or a member of my team and I want them to g go and critique it for me, then I can send them a public link or I can choose, I can say I'm going to click that and that's only going to go to my team. So I can copy the link, send it to my team. No one else is going to be able to access this file or I can click anyone with the link which I've, I've created a whole bunch of templates before, like, you know, when we do our mastermind days, um, we, quite often I'll just jump on here. If a member's talking about doing something, I'll whip it up quickly. And then I'll, so I've started the process for them. So all they've got to do is then go and continue the process or fill it in or write their content over the top. And so in which case I'll put anyone with a link, I'll copy the link and I will give that link to that member so that they can go in and they can, use it as a template. But the other thing you can do, I'm just going to put that back to how it was. The other thing you can do is to schedule or you can upload it directly to your Facebook page. Now, of course, you're going to have to connect your Facebook page to it if you're going to upload directly to Facebook. So um, it will say connect Facebook. You'll go connect your Facebook account. Um, most of the time it's already connected, just as you see here. So I'm going to continue as um, Sammy Garrity. And I can choose, as you can see, uh, there's a few pages that I'm managing here. So I can choose to uh, click on there and click next. And I'll just do it so it shows you. Um, done. That's now going to link my Facebook account to Canva. And now if I want to share this to, oh, I'll go do that later, but you you get the point, right? You go and connect your account and, um, and then connect Facebook, right? So that's that way of doing it. The other way is to schedule it. Now, of course, you're going to have to connect whatever accounts you're going to use. So if you're going to use Instagram or Facebook, then of course you need to connect your account. As soon as you've done that, you can, um, connect your graphics up so that you can just literally set and forget. So you, I mean, you can upload it direct to uh, Instagram. If this feature doesn't work and you can't get it to work, don't mess about with it. You know, don't waste your life trying to get it to work. Uh, if you've got something quick that you need to promote, you can always learn how to do this and get some techie person to help you with it later. But if you need to get out a message quickly, you could just uh, do what I suggested at the beginning, which is uh, you can click share, uh, go to the download section and download it from there. 
or if you have connected them up, you can share on social and you can connect it to any of your pages, your LinkedIn, your Facebook, uh, Pinterest, where you can, you can see all of the ways that you could share it there. So it's just a case of uh, when you click on it, it's probably going to ask you to connect your Pinterest account, for example. So you just go through and if you want to connect it up to all of your um, social accounts, go connect them up and then you'll be able to share direct from Canva in future as opposed to having to download it and then upload it to each of your accounts. This is a great little feature that you can use that will make a, a huge amount of difference to your time management. And of course, the whole set and forget process will be really much easier for you, especially if you're coming up to a launch and you want to be able to, like we will, we'll set everything up so that it goes out automatically, which then gives us plenty of time that our social channels are, are being populated while we're being interviewed. And it means that things are going out and you can just concentrate on really showing up and be working your magic live in person somewhere else while all of your social stuff gets shared. So I hope that that helps you. Uh, if you've got any questions about it, please do pop them in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, you might know somebody else that needs to know this information. So do share this video with them. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you've got any questions, do reach out and connect with us so that if you need help with anything at all, whether it's creating your branding, making your impact, getting visible, overcoming fear to get yourself out there in a bigger way. We really are on a mission to support you to make the biggest impact and the biggest ripple and the greatest waves that you can. So don't be a stranger. Make sure you get in touch and we'll look forward to answering your questions and supporting you in our next video.